one of the most dispiriting things for people starting practice is that they imagine um, the practice is the gateway to uh, tranquility and peacefulness. Uh, yet, when they start, it's as if there's this small, crappy person inside their head um, talking uh, repetitive, bloviating, interpretative nonsense. Um, and all this uh, kind of complaining about uh, what's going on, um, about not being enlightened and nonsense really. So as a, a preliminary stabilizing step, um, it's important that we get um, some distance from this uh, crappy person. So we learn um, equanimity, um, non-reactivity, um, mindful awareness and so on. Um, so, as it were, we're establishing some space around this small crappy person. But the problem is that we're still within the room of the self. And if we um, stay um, with this perspective, then we're likely to see Zazen in terms of equanimity or in terms of consciousness. But either way, we're not going to see Zazen in terms of um, connectedness and joy. So what we require to do uh, is kind of fall out of this um, room of the self and into the body um, and from there um, we can experience joy, connection, um, non-duality and so on. But when we say body we don't mean um, your picture um, of the body, because that's simply another picture. We mean actual, alive, vivid embodiment. So um, through this um, awareness, a kind of seeping out, um, so that um, everything, um, starting near to us and just gradually percolating outwards, loses its picturedness, its conceptuality, and acquires vivid embodiment. And it's in this context that we need to see the descriptive language of the Mayana Sutras. So not describing something fantastical, uh, but describing um, the actual experience of Zazen with these familiar uh, restraints of mind and self and consciousness and separation cast off. And our ways of describing this are limitless and should be understood as being both partial and limitless because the point of a community of practitioners is that the expression of the Dharma is never closed. It's as if um, your spine is the um, uh, um, cascade of um, pearls. 
it's as if your rib cage is like a um, weightless uh, basket uh, moving in emptiness. It's as if your heart inside that basket is a great light extending everywhere.